In Lecture 4, Measuring Bulk Solids Flow Properties, Shear Testing and Variables that Affect Properties, Joe Marinelli of Solids Handling Technologies discusses in detail the preferred method of determining a bulk solids flow property. In Lectures 1, 2, and 3, Joe emphasized characterizing cohesive and wall friction properties necessary to determine your hopper's opening size and wall slope, as well as selecting the correct feeder critical to the success of your solids handling system. Topics covered in this lecture include a discussion of shear testers used today, mainly the Genicke Shear Tester, the ASTM standard in the U.S. The Genicke Tester demonstrates cohesive property tests, which allow you to predict your hopper's opening size to prevent arching and rat holing. Wall friction tests use several wall surfaces, which lead to determining the hopper slope required to ensure flow along your hopper walls. Joe also discusses the variables that affect your material's flow properties, such as moisture content, particle size, temperature, relative humidity, and time of storage at rest. These variables play a major role in the flowability of the bulk solid, and each is taken into consideration when running shear tests on your product. Measuring bulk solids flow properties includes handouts on the online video class and a quiz to ensure your complete understanding of the concept.